sometimes all you need is a chance. After spending seven relatively unremarkable NBA seasons with four different franchises, James Johnson came to Miami and changed everything, literally. His transformation began with a complete commitment to condition, reminiscent of the kind of monumental makeovers that have allowed players like Ike Austin and Udonis Haslam to thrive within the walls of heat culture. James became the latest in a long line of gems unearthed by a franchise that always seems to find value in players others overlook. The weight loss allowed James to find his true talent, a versatility that remains rare for players of his stature. And by the waning moments of last season, he had become, in many ways, the Heat's most potent player. Drives in, what a dunk! And that's the dunk of the year on James Johnson. He got all the way to the rim and put the Heat ahead by one. Wow. Big game, James, with a big, big play at the end of the game. The trust garnered from coaches and teammates alike has now earned him a responsibility commensurate with that level of respect. His rapid rise continues to be one of the most pleasantly surprising stories in three decades of Heat basketball. Just how high his talents may elevate him and these Heat remains an open question. One whose answer now lay in the control of a captain. It is time for your starting lineups brought to you by your local Lexus dealer. For the visiting Hawks, we got some injuries, so we got some changed bodies. It's Delaney, Baysmore, Dedman, Scala, and Prince. As for the Miami Heat, you know the big man's out in the middle, so it's Mickey in the middle for the Miami Heat. Dragic, Waiters, Johnson, and Richardson around him. Let's do some highlights right now. First quarter. I want to lay it down, flip it, and reverse it. Double J, may I? Uh, that's not a total reverse. I, I, that's kind of a just on the other side of the basket. Richardson, let's rip it. Let's go. Let's do it. Now patch it front. Patch it front. Okay, here we go. Keep it low. Now this is when Dragic is tough right here. Okay, that that's close up shot time. Okay, you got it. He threw it in there left-handed with a little hesitation. Now I got the Domino's delivery for the people right here. I love that give and go right there. That's just excellent. And look at the way he was able to deliver from the top of the key. Runs that offense like a guard out there. Tyler with the hard cut. Two hand bounce pass. Got to love it. Second quarter. Ellington, trifecta, you bastard. And one more time, I would like to remind everyone, regardless of the news, at Carolina they do teach the square root of nine equals three. Okay? Everybody goes in and checks it out. Now there's more threes. That's three delicious. Did you open up and taste that one, John? Did you? Uh, did that taste good? Oh, I've got more. i got more. Back to life. Back to three out of Oh, we're going to get mad. Some more tonight, I got one more. Throw some more. You know my favorite character, Star Wars? C-3PO. Oh, wow. Wow. New Is there one. one more? New one. I can't, I can't. Okay, we're done. Right, there's enough for me. 62-44 <laughs> at the break, third quarter. Double J, crossover, two hand. And then Ellington. Oh, no, I'm sorry. No, no, not Ellington. Delaney this time. If, if you're on the other team, you don't get a really cool situation. Okay, this is good ball movement. Here come the Hawks, by the way. Prince. Prince always want to fight somebody. Why do you always want to fight? Then Baysmore, little and one basketball. Amazing they were able to do this without Schroeder. Right? I mean, this is yeah, a strong look by them. Strong look, and this is what this guy does well. Baysmore stretches it out, uses his athleticism. When they made him a shooter at the end of the game, he really came up short. But boy, you let him get into the seams with that length, and he could finish. The lead was once 21. It was four heading into the fourth, and KO with the KO. Oh. He got hit in the bun. He did. And one basketball, baby. Now, Winslow, watch out now. No justice, no peace. I want to see that again. I mean, just doing the this, thing, right? This is where, he, where he's most comfortable. When he gets the ball in his hands, he, he has such an innate ability either to get to the rim to score or to create for his teammates. Still working on trying to play with off the ball where he can be more effective. But, boy, he does such a nice job attacking with the ball in his hands. The center integer with the left hand. Should have been some man one action right there. Bus driver, come get the Hawks. They're headed home, by the way. Headed home before they get back to the road. Finally, huh? Five games straight. That's a lot of threes, John. Is what it looks like. But watch how hard he moves. 
to get open to make these shots. That's what I think is equally as impressive. He uses screens very well. He sets up his man. He fakes one way. He comes off from a player perspective. It's very hard to guard Wayne Ellington because you've got to keep your head on a swivel. He's got coming off screens. He's got people trying to take his head off. He moves extremely well, cutting, coming through multiple screens, too. They run an action where he comes off the baseline. He has the option to go off one screen or off two, and then he can quick shoot it on the break. So you, you got to run to him. You can't run to the paint and then run out. And, and boy, he changes the game in that second quarter along with the 19 points. We heard Spo talk about it in the, in the post-game press conference. They've got in the paint, not just to score, but to pass as well. He was born driving, but he was also able to use screens, get in there, and, and when the defense compresses, uh, he's able to make plays. You see the floaters, you see the pull-ups. Uh, Jay Rich you know, made a couple shots early, uh, missed a few in that second half, and then really made, I thought, a couple critical drives, uh, you know, really stemming the, the, the Hawks' run. And here was the emotion. That was a critical drive in the fourth quarter that I thought really helped get the team back, uh, you know, into the winning mode, if you will. Four. 104 93. If you'd like to catch tonight's game again, tune in tonight at midnight or tomorrow at noon as we replay all of tonight's action presented by your South Florida Honda dealers. This has been a presentation of Fox Sports Sun, your exclusive home for Miami Heat basketball. For Eric and the coach Tony, as well as Kristen, John, and Ron, I'm simply Jax. Three letters saying so much. And I'm saying thanks for watching. Good night, Heat Nation.